Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Slice here. Um, today I'm going to be doing a Roblox AC6 chassis pop-ups tutorial. The AC6 chassis is a Roblox chassis for cars. This is for the AC6 chassis only. SS6 and other chassis are not going to work right, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. Anyways, I've already gone over a tutorial on how to set up a car, how to put a chassis on a car, and this is a different one than what we did before, but this is a car with pop-ups, and what I want to show you is clearly how to make pop-ups flip upward when they turn on and how to make them flip back down and how to make them work and turn on and everything it'll be pretty easy it doesn't take too long and uh, there are no videos that really covered it right and I'm just glad to be able to show you all how to do it so first you want to go to the toolbox look for a free model let's say E86 this is a little hatchback with pop-ups and there's a lot of them that have a pop-up script so if you just take one look around a little bit see if this one has anything just want to keep looking through every 886 that you can find until you find a script let's try this one to see if there's a script here alright here we go this is the car that we need as you can see in the explorer tab which you can open through view right here this big button saying explore there's a pop-ups tab a little pop-ups button this is the actual pop-up script for the car so let's start by taking by taking this script from this car here and we're going to put it in this car so if you want to use a copy you want to click copy or just do control C by clicking on the item and then you want to go to your car open it up and in the A chassis tune section in the plugins section you want to paste this into the cars uh, plugins and now the car has a pop-up script but we're not even near done we have to make the pop-ups actually flip up next part is we need to go into the initialize section and click misc weld now this is a script right here now what you have to do is you have to look at the script it will run under where it says weld stuff here as you can see there is make weld misc pop-ups hinge car drive seat motor one and then model weld misc pop-ups parts misc pop-ups hinge now this also has pop-ups in it because it controls the pop-ups this doesn't actually control the pop-ups, but it holds them together. So you want to copy this. Don't copy anything for anything else because it says hinge, and it says trunk, and it says hood. But we don't want a trunk and a hood on our car yet. We want pop-ups. So only copy the pop-ups part. Go to the mesk weld section under initialize under the actual, you know, a chassis tune. And as you can see, your car has nothing there except for the actual seat. So what you're going to do is you're going to paste those two lines and now when you have pop-ups in your car they're going to stick together and they're not going to fall down so now you have the pop-ups that'll stick in place they'll flip up flip down we'll have to make them turn on but we'll do that later now you have the pop-ups themselves so what you have to do is you have to take these pop-ups as you can see I have my pop-ups for my car here you want to take all of these you want to kind of just put them you know on the body where you can reach them and then you want to go to this car go to the misc section find something that says pop-ups you're just going to copy it you're going to put it in the misc section for your own car and it may have something in it and it may not have something in it already but that's fine doesn't matter now the hinge as you can see the car is facing this way and my car is facing this way so you're going to want to rotate it 90 degrees to the right so let's say we just want to use the transform tool because you can rotate it easily and you want to rotate it to the right 90 degrees to the right so now it's facing this way so when i flip up my pop-ups they're going to flip up correctly and they're not going to flip up sideways now this hinge is what the pop-ups are going to rotate by you can consider this like an axis because the car's pop-ups are going to rotate around this so you're going to put it on the edge of the pop-up so that it can rotate properly. And it's going to kind of look like this. Right on the edge. And there we go. I think that's good enough. You can always reposition it to look a little better. And sometimes different positions are better depending on the car. And so we have the pop-up section, the parts section, and everything. Now in the parts, you go to model. And everything in model, you want to delete. This is all from the old car. We don't need anything from the old car. And then in the L section, you want to delete O. 
we want to keep the L and we have to rotate it 90 degrees to the right again this is because our car is facing 90 degrees to the right compared to this A86 so you're going to rotate it 90 degrees it should look like that and you want to pace you want to kind of place it you know a little bit around where the actual pop-ups are this is really just something you do just in case it's like a script related thing uh, they're not really necessary, but they can help you at times, so it's best just to keep them around just in case makes everything more practical Anyways, this is all set up next thing you want to do is you want to take your actual pop-ups Like I said you want to make sure they're at easy reach because now is the time you want to use them So take all of your pop-up pieces Copy them Actually, no don't copy them you can drag them because if you copy them it's going to move them off place so rather you're going to drag them in the Explorer and you're going to put them in the model section under parts in the misc section you know under pop-ups and now all of your pop-ups are in the misc model section that's where they're supposed to be now the O you're going to put this in the L section this is the pop-up light if you put it in the L section the lights actually going to light up so now we have our pop-up parts all in the right sections we have our hinge in the right place. We have our pop-up script in the car. And in the misc world, we have the two lines that hold the pop-ups together. Now we want to go into the pop-up script. Under P in the pop-ups, you can double click it, and now you're inside of the script. Now you have everything in the pop-ups. Now this is a hinge desired angle, negative 1.47. This is how much the pop-ups are going to flip up or flip down. So. What you want to do is you want to run the test tool. Just open studio with the car. And you want to go test out your pop -up. So I'm just going to grab a car here. And we're going to go drive over to our actual testing car this car actually. That one's just stuck. Alright, so this is our car. First thing you want to do is make sure that the pop-ups go. So if your engine is on, you know, depends on if you have a script for that, you'll see there's a pop-up spot. If you click that, there you go. You see the pop-ups are flipping up, but there's a problem. They're going up way too much. So what we want to do here is we want the pop-ups to go up by a lesser amount. We don't want them to go up as much. So hit the stop button and go back into the script. And you want to lower the angle. Let's say remove one from the angle. That's just negative 0.47. Keep the decimal in there so that's not like 147 or 47. That would be way too much. And now run the test again with the edited script let it load up again I'm gonna drive over my car or drive over to my car with this car and I'm gonna go check it out see what it's like alright we're back to our car now with the edited hidden angle just start it up check it again Just trial and error. You'll get better as at this as predicting hinge angles as you go. Trust me, it's completely fine. But actually, I'm not going to bother to get the hinge angle correct just for the sake of time. Now you want to just toy around with this until the pop-ups look just right when they flip up. But we're just going to skip to the next part. Now, this is where you have a light script. Again, light script you can get from a car just like this one. It's not hard to get. As you can see, even this car has all these light scripts. And I'm working with one of the basic AC6 light scripts. Now, this works on most light scripts. You want to go into the actual script. And you want to kind of look through it. And here's everything that you need to know. This is the update light section. This means this is gonna turn this is gonna turn on the lights and turn off the lights. So here we go. 
function toggle light if light on then update light update light update light update light so these are all going to update the light so when the lights are on this is all going to happen now as you can see this is already set up but again you have light dot o right here this is going to be the pop-ups remember you name the pop-ups to capital o and that's basically what's going to happen is that's going to turn the whole light on because you mapped it out right now remember um, you can't mess up anything in the scripts and if you rename this to the incorrect thing uh, say if you put in even if it's just a non capitalized O it's not going to read it right the lights won't turn on so you want to make sure that it's the exact same name as the headlight that you put in the pop up section and all that <laughs> next thing you want to create a local I've already created the local here but I'm going to do it again this is basically what you do type in local space light now you can name it to whatever you want to name it but yes again you want to make sure that the script says the correct local like here it has to say the local I'm setting it to is light so I have, I have to say light right here if you set the local to let's say light 2 that means that see you have to put a 2 right here and now it knows what local you are referring to but if you remove it the script doesn't know what you're saying so anyways I'm gonna set my local to light and you're gonna put equals here it goes so car dot body as you can see here's a body model so you put body remember capitalization is important dot misc this is this model right here misc and the pop-up part in it which is called pop-ups so put in pop-ups then put in parts then put in L then you're good so now because it you're telling the script to enable the light when it's on and disable the light when you turn the lights off so now what's gonna happen is Let's start up the studio. What's going to happen is I'm going to have pop-up lights that turn on when I press the button. So let's try it out and see how successful the pop-ups are. Again, I'm going to get in my car. Make sure you get over to your actual car. the one we modified. <laughs> Start it up. Pop-ups on. Ooh, I did good guesswork. My pop-ups are almost completely correct. They're almost going up all the way because I put the in jingle to basically the right button. Now, this is my headlights button. Yours is going to look a little different. It's going to be a text box. It says headlights on, off, auto, whatever. I just have the special button for development purposes. If you press the like button, Yeah, this is a perfect example of what can happen when you do something wrong. It won't turn on. So let's go fix that real quick. Go back into the script as usual. The lights weren't turning on. That's probably a very basic error that was happening. You want to make sure you got everything right here. Car, body, misc. Okay, here's the problem. So you actually don't need the body right here. Delete that. And now, we should be good to go. So I'm going to actually put this car next to the spawn so we don't have to drive over all the time. So let's just see this thing in action. Alright, now we have our car over here, and we should be good. Let's just check it out, see what it's like. Let's start it again. Flip up the pop-ups. And if we press the button, 
there you go. You see the pop-ups turn neon. They're all turned on. You have the light going out. And you have the real lights that are on too. Well, they completely work. So basically, now you have pop-ups that flip up and down when the engine is on. And they even it even shows you like the process of them flipping up. It's not just teleportation or anything. And you have pop-ups in your car that are completely working. And you also have the rest of your rear lights, reverse lights, and everything completely working too. And your blinkers at the same time. So this was basically a tutorial on how to get the light script to work with pop-ups. And how to get the pop-ups to flip up and down. And just how to make the car work with them in general. And how to deal with any errors that you may run into, like the errors I ran into. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more tutorials like this, or a more detailed tutorial going over stuff like pop-ups, just let me know. See ya.